Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. We are here on Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas on an Alaskan cruise, and I wanna share with you all the free and complimentary food that we saw and ate during our sailing to Alaska. Now there was so much food, we couldn't possibly try it all, but I do wanna give you a glimpse of what was included with your cruise fare. We'll start out with some of the buffet food that was available, we'll move into some of the smaller restaurants, and then we'll also show you what was available in the main dining room. We ate here for breakfast and dinner, on several occasions. So let's go ahead and dive right into the free or complimentary food that you'll find on the Ovation of the Seas. Let's start out in the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet. This is located towards the aft of the ship on deck 14 and it's an island-based buffet, a lot quicker than a single line. Just head to the island with the food you're after. We'll have a quick look at the complimentary beverages here. There's water, ice, they also had lemonade, fruit punch, strawberry kiwi, iced tea, and in the mornings they did serve orange juice and apple juice. They've got hot water on tap, plus a variety of different teas available. Now for your coffee, of course they did have whole milk, they had half and half, they had skim milk, and then Lavazza coffee, they had regular, and the decaf's kind of hiding behind there, but lots of coffee available. Let's take a look at some of the food we saw for breakfast in the Windjammer. So lots of different breads available, including the cinnamon roll Danish right there, and lots of fruit as well. Apples, oranges, kiwis, and sliced fruit, including pineapple, watermelon, honeydew, lots of stuff. And this did change throughout the week what was available. Cereal, you could scoop your own yogurt. There was granola, and one of our favorites, the parfaits here, the strawberry parfait. They also had lots of toppings available there for your oatmeal. A variety of different deli meats and cheeses. You could grab a banana. There's bagels with smoked salmon. They had some cottage cheese there and other toppings as well as salmon on pumpernickel. You've got scrambled eggs, tomatoes, breakfast potatoes, and lots of bacon was available as well. Baked beans, corned beef hash biscuits and gravy, sausages, hard-boiled eggs, and a lot of different pastries, including donuts. Let's jump into what we saw for lunch and dinner here in the buffet as well. We'll start out with the salads. Lots of pre-made salads available, whether they're pre-scooped or you scoop them yourself, coleslaw there. There's fruit salad, beetroot salads, they had salmon salads, and of course this was changing throughout the week variety of different cheeses available and you could also of course just make your own salad how you like it that was available fruit salads watermelon pineapple cantaloupe or just pre-made fruit salad was available peppers do marinated artichokes focaccia bread delicious there were so many different breads here to choose from baguettes one of our favorites the cheese rolls breads with seeds, lots to choose from. They had a variety of different soups, and of course, lots of different deli meats. Marinated olives and more cheese. Let's jump into some of the main entrees that we saw, corn and tarragon fritters, Roasted potatoes, steamed rice, aloo gobi, grilled vegetables, gravy, mashed potatoes, pasta with a variety of sauces, rice, chicken tikka masala, masala dal, stir fried vegetables, more rice, breaded flounder, orange pork with vegetables, beef rendang, Roasted carrots, roasted pumpkin, panar masala, rice, baked potatoes with all the different toppings, sauteed vegetables, eggplant parmigiana, Italian meatballs, grilled polenta chicken parmigiana, grilled steak, roasted chicken, beef lasagna, grilled veggies, chicken parmigiana, pizza, 
pepperoni, cheese, and more. Chicken fingers, mac and cheese, hot dogs, burgers, and all the toppings. Beef fajitas, mashed potatoes, steak rancheros, grilled pork chops, grilled fish, lemongrass and garlic rotisserie chicken. There was lots of variety here at the carving station and it did change throughout the week. Cajun rotisserie chicken, roasted turkey, roasted beef top round, tandoori chicken and more. Let's also have a quick look at the desserts available here in the Windjammer. Caramel pot de creme, lots of cookies to choose from chocolate bar, napoleons, chocolate cappuccino, crumbly oat and berry bars, tiramisu, rum baba, chocolate cherry tarts, jello, caramel flan, hummingbird cake, coconut layer cake, and much more. Let's dive into some of the smaller restaurants here on the ship. So on deck four in the Royal Esplanade, you're gonna find the Cafe Promenade where they have coffee. And again, it's the Lavazza coffee. They have decaf there as well as a variety of teas. And then they have a selection of snacks for you here as well, including desserts, their sandwiches, cookies, some fruit and different wraps. It's a great spot if you're looking for a late night snack. And then right next to that, you are also gonna find the Sorrento's Pizza. And in here, lots of seating, and they make fresh pizza in here. And it goes quite late. Typically, they would have a cheese pizza, a pepperoni pizza, and then another pizza that might change every day throughout the week. Excellent spot, again, for lunch or a late night snack. Now, if you're up on deck 14 and you'd like some fish and chips, they've got fish and ships out by the pool on deck 14. And here you can get fish and chips, fried shrimp and chips, chicken fingers and chips, as well as crispy fish sandwiches. They do charge for the fried lobster tails. So they'll scoop that all up for you. French fries, the shrimp, the chicken. And this is what the fish and chips looks like with the tartar sauce and the fried shrimp. Now, if you're hanging out in the C-Plex, maybe shooting some hoops and you'd like a hot dog, you've got the C-Plex Doghouse. First, you choose your bun. They've got classic and everything. And they have four different sausages to choose from, from the classic chicken and apple sausage, smoked Bavarian bratwurst, and Sicilian pork sausage. And then you can choose to have onions and sauerkraut on that as well. They'll load that all up for you. You've got the condiments there. And they also serve potato salad and coleslaw. Now we don't wanna forget the cafe at 270. This is located at the aft of the ship on deck five, right next to the 270 theater or lounge. In here, you're gonna find all sorts of great food, including sandwiches and wraps. They've got fruit in here. They will make the sandwiches right in front of you at the deli here. They've got soups. They'll make salads for you, as well as they do have a variety of desserts in this area. Up on deck 14 at the front of the ship, you're gonna find the Solarium Bistro, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is a small little buffet here, right next to the Solarium, a lot smaller than the Windjammer. I'm here at breakfast time, and you can see it's a lot of the same options that we saw in the Windjammer earlier for breakfast. They do have a beverage station here, again, with the coffee, as well as teas, water, and some juices. And a little island here with desserts, sandwiches, They've got deli meats and fruit. Now we can't forget the ice cream hut here where you can get soft serve ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, and swirl. Let's jump over to the main dining room where we had breakfast and dinner on several occasions in the American Icon Grill, as well as the Silk Dining Room. These are located at the aft of the ship on deck four. We'll start out with some of the breakfast options that we saw and had. So there was croissants in here, Danish pastries, donuts, 
strudels, and all sorts of other pastries. They had the granola parfait with fruit. These were delicious. French toast, pancakes, breakfast burritos, and all sorts of sides, hash brown sausage, bacon, eggs. And they would also make custom omelets for you here as well. Let's jump over to dinner here in the main dining room. We'll start out with the Appies. They had escargot, crispy crab cakes, spinach and artichoke dip, crispy buttermilk calamari, crispy parmesan arancini, Vidalia onion tart, spring rolls, seared beef carpaccio, Caesar salad, iceberg wedge salads, different soups including butternut squash soup, and baked potato soup. And of course everything did change daily throughout the week. Aromatic chicken sog, southern fried chicken with honey and Tabasco sauce, roasted beef tenderloin, sweet and sour pork, Kung Pao chicken, New York strip steak, lasagna al forno, beef brisket, maple and bourbon glazed salmon, chicken marsala, and of course they had the main lobster tail. Let's have a quick look at some of the desserts. Key lime pie, royal cheesecake, creme brulee, I love that, it's so good, bon flan, Italian chocolate hazelnut cake, and we ordered it with vanilla ice cream, and of course, baked Alaska. So I hope this quick tour of the free and complimentary food on Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Northern Viking Explorer. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy cruising.